Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel again. Uh, today I'm going to give you a, an overview and implementation disc, uh, description about kidney and its tumor segmentation. These days, you know, deep learning algorithm getting so much popularity and with the available of large set of data set, you know, algorithm getting more and more accurate uh, enhancing. There are many libraries publicly available also. So, um, but, I'd, I'd, uh, but uh, you know, one of the major uh, improvement has been uh, seen so far in terms of medical data set that uh, the diagnostic of tumor can be done much more efficiently than the human. So, uh, with the aim of this, you know, this improvement, Recently, in 2019, Kidney Kids data set is also made publicly available. So re, uh, when I encountered this data set, I thought I should create a video about it. So you can learn about the challenge uh, on the main page. The uh, li link of the data set URL will be given in the description section of the video. Let me move uh, quick to the main part. Okay, so this data set is consisting of MRI images, and every MRI images is in an easy for format along with the segmented part of kidney and the tumor portion. I'll show you how the NISA data set will look like and thereafter I'll move toward the um, uh, segmentation implementation which is being done on PyTorch. <clears throat> so for getting the data set, when you will click on the, this link, you will be redirected here where its data set GitHub link is available. You, uh, when you click on the link, you will see uh, Git, uh, Git repository here. And all you need to do, just run few lines of command from here, then you, you can clone the repository, move to the kids in, inside data set, then pip install requirement.txt file. I believe you guys already have uh, basic knowledge of Python, so, yeah. and then for downloading the data set, you require to run this, line, this command. Uh, let me show you. I have already downloaded the data set. I am showing you for demonstration purpose. When you run this command, it will start downloading the data set like in this way. Okay, there are 90 images available in the data set. You can download it. Let me show you how the data set will look like once you complete the download downloads. So here my data set case, cases are available. Okay, let me open one of the case for you guys. So this is one of the case we are, which consists image and segmentation NIZET format. For, for visualization in the local computer, uh, you cannot see NIZET images uh, directly. You require a tool to, uh, which enable you to see the image, uh, images. So I'm using Mango here. There are other tools also available. So let me open the tool for you and then we'll show you how the image will look like. It's important you to understand the image demonstration first. Uh, because um, because for uh, creating the algorithm, you must understand the data set first, what is your required task and how it should look like. Thereafter, you can c create the algorithm successfully. So I have already opened the Mango tool. Let me reach out to that directory. Click on Open Image. And Click on kidney, kids. Then uh, let me open one of the case for you. So I'm going to open imaging first and then the kids segmentation part. Okay. So uh, let me show you how you can visualize the data set. Like, let me reach out to the both kidney portion like in this way hmm now these are visible pretty much okay and let me align them I guess the, I'm done now. So guys, you can see here, this is the input image and this is the segmented image. You can see here, 
okay the both the uh, this is the side view so only one one of the kidney will be available this is the front view or both the kidneys will be uh, so visible and it, this is also the uh, you know uh, horizontal front views where you can see both the kidneys okay the white portion you can see here is the tumor portion ultimate goal of the of the of the challenge is to create such an algorithm which will be able to identify the kidney from these images and thereafter would be able to locate the tumor portion inside the kidney okay when i click on the tumor portion you can see on the windows uh, on the right top this represent a second class the first class is the kidney and zero class is the background so your goal is to first segment the kid uh, you know segment the images and thereafter classify into three classes okay so the uh, this is this data set is available in the 3d format but the incon due to the inconsistency consistency of the data set number of layers okay first you uh, first need to create an algorithm which convert 3d data set into 2d format and thereafter okay seg uh, perform the segmentation and later on reconstruct the 3d images from the uh from the 2d segmented part okay so let me give you the overview of the data set um, prior to just let me show you how the train and mask images will look like so from those 3d images you convert the 2d images in um, like this okay so there are many slices available once you convert the 2d images there are two there will be almost 22 lakh uh, 22 lakhs 90000 number of 2d images will be there and the train mask corresponding to is train mask mask is not visible uh, like in like in the 2d format because these mask consist only the three classes 0 1 2 so for visualizing the mask you can only see in the notebook okay so this is this is the main final load book i have created for you guys let me give you an overview in a very quick manner okay these are the libraries i'm using fast ai which is built on the top of pytorch you can also download fast ai you uh, throw by running this command like pip3 install fast ai and you your fast ai will be will automatically download it okay yeah here you can see uh, my requirement is already satisfied so i don't need to uh, rerun run this code okay let me move it forward uh, here i'm loading the data set my uh, entire images are available in the data set folder so i'm walk through the data set then get, get the name of the data set writing those images in in a csv file by converting the pandas data frame where it consists the di directory name the file name the segmented uh, directory name and the segmented file name okay guys once i have these uh, this data set in the form of csv format so uh, let's move forward from here it's this is the function for loading the nizer uh, image there is a library available which is enable you to reading the nizer Im images directly nibble okay you can download this library the same way pip install nibble and then you give the path of the library every files will be available in the data frame so for, so whenever it any it um, nib load will read the for niz files city um, and then uh, then convert into the numpy numpy array uh, thereafter okay you will have the array of files from niz for uh from the nizer for format let's move toward uh, this is for visualizing one of the Im 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 images so let me show you few images okay that will be help you to understand better <coughs> so you can see here this is one of the image okay in uh, from the sample which is already being converted into 2d format with the filter method which is available in the fast ai i am using custom filter method because fast ai hasn't been developed the kidneys filters uh, you know kidney data set uh, filtering method so for so i am using custom method for here to visualize the 
image. This method is being created for plotting the samples. Here you can see the multiple samples are being plot. This is the original image. This is the window image. You can see in window image the kidney portion is quite visible. This is the mass from the segmented and this is the kidney mask where the mask is overlap uh, overlay on the main on the main image okay so uh, this is uh, this is for check whether you know number of how many number of you know classes are available in each mask okay this this custom method is for is created for pre processing of the data set and save the data set in the jpg format which i already show you here Okay, moving toward the next section, this will be the JPG that I have already uh, shown you. This portion, this is a very important uh, portion where basically we are generating the data set for training purpose. Okay, so uh, we here we actually reshaping the image so that it cons consume less memories, only taking the um, single band of image fr from the segmented portion and the input portion con con consists all the three bands. Okay, here you can see background, kidney and tumor are the classes which we require, which we need to locate ultimately from each input image. Okay, why I'm using the fast AI because fast AI already consists the unit learner. You, uh, I have already built, ma make videos about the unit description. The DLS is the method where we actually call the, you know, data loader. So this data loader work much efficiently than the uh, I storing the image, all the image in the in, in the workspace first and that consume lot of memory. So th this data loader help uh, to save the memory and enable us to train on the data set, okay? I'm using pre-trained ResNet weight. So uh, the, in the unit, the pre-trained ResNet 18 is act like an encoder method. We are pre-trained as ResNet 18 already being trained from large, large number of image data set. So that's the thing. Uh, so ResNet 18 will uh, act as an encoder, encode the image, cross entropy fla flat loss is used for, uh, used as a loss function which uh, give the highest accuracy in most of the cases of uh, cases of unit learner where we have multiple classes and input two dimensional images so this is uh, this is how the uh, model is pre trained model is being created here this is available already into fast ai okay then as already pre-trained weights on the encoder of ResNet 18 is available, it won't take much time to optimize itself. Here you can see once we, when we perform the training, there is a train loss and validation loss uh, will get display and uh, and the training time is almost uh, is very uh, very less. Uh, that means training complexity is very low and it takes around to com 36 seconds to complete one epoch. Okay. With the with the PyTorch fast AI, you guys also will be able to see uh, the top 50 predictions, uh, how it look like. Like uh, okay, so there is a plot top losses uh, built-in method is available. Okay, from the segmentation interpreter. So you, here you can see the input image target and the predicted loss. So top 50 losses top 50 losses means on those images which we where we achieve the minimum loss so uh, will can be visualized here you can see input image target and predicted loss images okay this is the original and this is the predicted image okay so move move toward you can store save the uh, pre-trained weights and use it further i have also created uh, a prediction method on the test data set where you can see original image, window image, mask and kidney overlay uh, on the predicted images. You can see here how the uh, some of the images will look like when we perform the prediction on test data set. This is an original window image, mask image where this part portion is represent the tumor on the kidney and this image will represent the same way where the this predicted image is superimposed on the original image and it look like this okay here few samples are made few slices of from one samples are made visible 
So this is all about kidney tumor segmentation. This is the 2D play plot of segmentation, segmented image. Okay, guys, I hope I try to explain you better. If you want further uh, understanding, uh, the number is given on the other end where one of the data scientists can take the dedicated session for you and explain you further in depth functionality if you would like to understand. This is all about, I hope you guys, if somebody is actually want this source code, just ping me. Uh, on WhatsApp, my number is available, okay? And you can get the copy of the source code, okay? Thank you guys, thanks for watching this video. Next time, uh, there are multiple versions of, uh, you know, medical data segmentation are, will be available shortly. And uh, in any domain, you are, per, you are pursuing PhD on the same, uh, in the similar type of field, you can contact us. Uh, thank you guys, love you all, bye.